These are the Sony WF-1000 XM4s. They cost $19,990 and they are close to perfect. Should you get them? Are they worth the price? Will they fit well? Do they work well? And I'm here to answer all of these questions and a whole lot more in the next few minutes. Alright, we know that it is impossible for something to be perfect because something being perfect is subjective. Something may be perfect for someone, but it may not be so for someone else. And that is the sort of story for the WF-1000XM4s. These earbuds are almost perfect. All because some aspects might not make them ideal for some very specific people. And I will tell you how. All of what I'm about to say is after three weeks of very rigorous use of these earbuds. Literally, they were like four or six hours per day in my ears. So they're like grossed out, but yeah, I've used them and I'll be able to tell you everything about them. All right, so this entire phrase, almost perfect, let's divide into two parts. Let's first discuss the parts that make these earbuds perfect. And then we'll discuss everything that adds the almost to that perfect. So, oh, look at them. Look at the case. This is hands down the best design for a charging case. It is small. The cap tapers down to the hinge so it is easy to hold it and open. The hinge itself is clever. It clicks into place when shut and when you open it, it is loose. Till it opens completely and then it clicks into place again and stays open. At the bottom, the case is flat so rather than needing to be laid down, it can sit up. That makes it easy to take out the buds while the case sits on a table or a wireless charger or even if they are being charged with a wire as the USB-C port is on the back. Up front, right below the opening of the case is the LED light that indicates the charging status of the case or the earbuds depending on what is being charged. And the all black color looks amazing. All around, the matte black color is amazing. The finish of the plastic is great. It is a little bit different. It appears to be very smooth, but it has a small bit of texture that you can feel when touched. And when inside your pocket, it does have a small bulge, which is fine. And yes, they can easily fit inside the coin pocket as well. The earbuds themselves look very different from all the earbuds that I've seen before. You can easily feel the great quality they have. And they're also pretty clever with the design. Rather than using a stick to balance out the weight of these earbuds so that they stay inside your ears while not falling out, they go for something different. They're designed to occupy the inside of your ears entirely. The curves on them are meant to make sure that all the curves inside the ear are used to keep them in place in the snuggest way possible, which is exactly what happens. And if your face muscles are like mine, if you have a small little bulge coming out on the inside of the ears, whenever your cheeks are stretched, since the fit on these earbuds is very tight, they manage to stay well in place even with that happening. The outer part of the earbuds is the area that supports the gestures and the cylindrical bulge under it is what houses all the mics for calls and noise cancellation. It also serves as a good way to push the earbuds into place while you fit them inside your ears. And the upper curve is the right place to have the gesture control as it does not disturb the fit when you tap the earbuds. And yes, they are good at rejecting the accidental touches. You really have to show your intention of tapping the earbuds in order for the gestures to work. And even though for most earbuds, I really do not prefer gestures, here, they are very smart and they are very responsive. The default controls are single tapping the right earbud to play or pause, double tap to play next, triple tap to play previous, and a single tap on the left earbud to move between noise cancellation and transparency mode. Hold to briefly lower the volume of the music and enter transparency mode. Tapping and holding on both earbuds puts them in pairing mode. Another smart inclusion with the earbuds are the ear tips. There are three different sizes, two inside the box, one on the earbuds already, and all of them are made of extremely soft memory foam. They are much more comfortable than most of the memory foam tips that I've tried. They take the shape of the ear cavity and the isolation is perfect. Enough about how they fit inside your ears. Let's talk about how they sound once they're in your ears. And all I can say is Sony has come a long way in the tuning of their earbuds. Up under the XM3s, the sound profile was very much bass heavy. It could be tuned in the EQ settings of the app, but by default, it was very bass heavy. But now I think Sony has figured out the best sound profile. It is very well balanced. It is something that almost everyone will like. The bass, it's strong. Significant, but not exhausting or overpowering. It does not distort anything else. 
the mids are clear, the vocals sour above the mix while very much being a part of it, the highs are plenty and perfectly comfortable, the sound stage is wide and the instrument separation is amazing. It is brilliant and hardly needs any tuning. And when you add LDAC to the mix, things just go up another level. Listening to high res tracks on Apple Music on these earbuds, you feel a whole new depth added to everything. It is something that you just can't go back from. Every beat, every chord, every note has a subtle texture added to it. And you will hear details that you never really heard before. It's fucking amazing. And while doing other stuff like watching videos, there is no noticeable lag or latency. And the sound remains just as punchy and deep even when you hear songs in transparency mode. And once you hit pause while in transparency mode, it all remains natural. The XM4s have the most natural sounding transparency mode on a pair of earbuds. Everything has a little bit of a higher pitch to it, but everything sounds as close to natural as it can be on a pair of truly wireless earbuds. In those four to six hours that I use these earbuds every day, the earbuds would be on transparency mode for about an hour at the very least. And I did not really feel the need to remove them at any point, just because I was very much fine with the transparency mode on. And once you tap the left earbud, everything goes to noise cancellation. And you're seeing the trend here. ANC on these earbuds is best on any pair of TWS that I've ever used. The isolation of the ear tips coupled with the processor inside that cuts out all of the low end and mid level frequencies give an exceptional experience with noise cancellation. And once you tap play, you will not hear anything from the outside, anything at all. And all of this happens without the creation of that vacuum effect. You just hear a lot less of your surroundings when you're using these earbuds with ANC on. And if you want to go to transparency mode from that, you don't really need to tap the earbuds again. You can just speak. As soon as the earbuds hear you speaking, they go into transparency mode and the music pauses, which is great as it removes the need of using your gestures repeatedly in order to go into transparency mode for a very brief period of time. And after some time of you not speaking, they switch back to playing music with ANC on. Or they can also do that if you just tap the right earbud to play. Sony calls this feature speak to chat. And the fact is that even if you do something as clear your throat, laugh while watching some idiot speak, it will pause whatever is playing and go into transparency mode, which can be annoying. So the best thing to do here is to just disable the feature when you're alone and enable it when you're not. As for me, the feature remained enabled most of the time because I just used these earbuds while working. So if someone just came up to me and I needed to speak, I just needed to <clears throat> and I would be able to speak or hear them what they are speaking. And when we're talking about voice, you can do a bunch of other cool things all with your voice because of Google Assistant, which is built right into these earbuds. And my friend Shreyas from Tech That Out is gonna tell you all about that. Hey everyone, this is Shreyas and thanks to Gorang for having me for this part of the video. Now I wanna start out with a difference between built-in Google Assistant on any device versus a Google Assistant trigger. Now a Google Assistant trigger will trigger it to a device which it's connected to. For example, your phone. So it will pop up the card and the problem is that you won't always get personal results if your screen is locked. Now when it's built in, you can not only access a lot of these devices because they are trusted and associated with your Google account, you can get personal results as well. And the cherry on top about the WF1000XM4s is that you get some controls of the earbuds specifically. So for example, I can do things, hey Google, turn on noise cancellation. So you see that the noise cancellation turned on on the settings which is within the Sony app and it did not trigger the local Google Assistant as well on my phone. It just used the internet connection to help perform that particular function. Now you can read out the battery stats, notifications, reply to notifications as well without even touching your phone. And with that said, that's about it and I hope I explained to you about what advantages you get with Google Assistant on this particular device. Could not have articulated all of that better than he did. Another handy software feature from Google. Google Fastpair. When you switch these earbuds on for the first time after taking them out of the case, a prompt on your phone will show up to establish connection. After tapping that, they will connect on your device, work with Google Assistant, and any device that has your Google ID on it will be able to detect the presence of the XM4s and will ask to connect. The battery level on the earbuds and the case shows up in the notification panel too, which lays the perfect segue to talking about the battery life on these earbuds. So with the volume set at 75%, LDAC enabled, speak to chat enabled, and alternating repeatedly between transparency mode and noise cancellation, I had to charge the case after four days, where each of those days, my usage to these earbuds would be 
five to six hours at the very minimum. And at that point, the battery on these earbuds would be around 70%. The number of days would increase to five if I wait for the earbuds also to completely be out of battery. This puts the combined battery life at about 25 to 30 hours, which is great given how I use these earbuds and how much I use these earbuds. Charging the case in the earbuds again would take a little over an hour and they can also be charged wirelessly. All right, everything seems amazing, flurry and great, but now let's shift the gears. Let's talk about what are the aspects that add the almost to the almost perfect. We talked about how great the fit is, how snug it is, but that is true in most cases, except where your ears are very small. Since they use the entirety of the inside of your ears, if you have small ears, either they won't fit or they will fit and you will have to spend some time adapting your ears to that fit. And all of that time will include a certain bit of aching. After your ears adjust, it will be pretty smooth, but it's always better to try them out before you buy them if you have smaller ears than most. And yes, the case design is amazing in every way, but the hinge, it does start creaking after a bit of time. I mean, it does not mean that the hinge is breaking or something, it's fine. Hinges are supposed to be loose because that helps you in opening it and it reduces the bulk on the case. But I do feel that these earbuds, the hinge on them, creaks a little bit too much even when it's closed. The XM4 sound amazing and the mics work their magic for the noise cancellation. But when it comes to picking up your voice for calls, they are rather average. If you are in a very noisy environment, the caller will not be able to hear you. However, if you are in average noise levels, the caller will be able to hear you, but it will take some effort for them to understand you. And the software has been great, but there are some issues which I do not like. You can't connect these earbuds to two different devices at the same time. I don't know for what reason, but you can't do that even though it is available as an option on cheaper devices. But yeah, pairing them is very fast and easy, so make of that what you will. And there has been one other problem which has annoyed the shit out of me. If I switch to another app for playing a video or some different audio for some minutes and then I pause and come back to the previous app, for some reason, the left earbud would be dead silent when I continue playing the track. The right earbud works as is, but the left earbud just doesn't. It continues to cancel the noise, it does respond to gestures, but for some reason, there is just no audio. Putting them in the case and taking it out fixes the issue. With time spent, it happens a lot less now, but still, it's a little bit annoying and I just thought that it's worth telling. It should be fixed with a very easy, small, simple software update. All right, you know everything about these earbuds now. So what is a good decision for these earbuds? Pretty simple. For the price of 19,990, none of the earbuds will provide better sound, better battery life, better case, better quality, better design choices, better software features, or more reliability. Yes, there are issues regarding the fit, regarding the mics, regarding that single weird bug, if you are someone who has small ears, then you should try something else after you know that these earbuds are not fitting you. But if you are someone who wants multi-device connectivity or better mics, go for something else only if you do not care or prioritize any of the things that the XM4s do better than all of the other earbuds. And because of that, these earbuds are almost perfect because they are not perfect, they're not ideal for just these people. But for everyone else, the Sony WF-1000XM4s are perfect. Get them. End of story. Goodbye.